state. What is Wahine? No. Andrew. What is Wahine? Wahine is the Hawaiian for woman. Yes. 2022, a Fremont, the candidate, yes. European aid. Created January 28th, 1918, after the Bolshevik Revolution, this fighting force suffered a purge some 20 years later. Please come to the doors of the minister's altar as I pray the Israel prayer. Hallelujah.
God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Holy Father, we know that thou hast made us and loved us and want us to be obedient unto thy word. And we do thank thee for thine enduring love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in mind and in heart. Lead us into thy truth and light, which shall fulfill our lives each day according to thy will. Father, we do acknowledge thee and know if we shall keep thy commandments, thou wilt direct our pathways in righteousness. Help us to be grateful for thy loving guidance, which is without cost, yet rich with love, joy, and peace, which cannot be bought nor sold or taken away. And to these jewels of joy, Holy Father, please add a little prosperity for which we have need of. Help us to reach a oneness with thee so that we can truly renew our strength to live and not be sick, but shall walk in perfect health with thee. And now, dear Father, charge us with thy power of love so that we may be able to live eternally and help us be worthy of these and all of the blessings thou seest we have need of. We ask these blessings in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen. 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 Alleluia. song, please. Let it 
it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Shine, shine. Ask Deacon to come to the doors, minister to the altar, asking everyone to stand, place your right hands over their hearts as you go to the doors open the ceremony. Genesis, the 35th chapter, the 9th through the 11th verses. God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Adamaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and the company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel to God. Exodus the fourth chapter, twenty second and twenty third verses. And thus said, and thus said the Lord, and, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse, let him go. Behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn members. Lord, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel's God. Isaiah the 43rd chapter, the first through the seventh verses. The novelist said, The Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When I pass through the waters, I will be with thee. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When I walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flames come upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, would I give men for thee and people for thy lives. Fear not, for I am with thee. I bring thy seeds from the east and gather thee from the west. I say to the north to give up and to the south to keep not back. I bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone is called by my name, for I have created them for my glory. I have formed them, yea, I have made them members. Lord, Lord God, God of Israel, Israel help, help us to love thee, thee. And, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. God. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, 20 through the 28th verses. And the sixth one, thy writers shall be in thine hands before their eyes, and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I'll take children of Israel from among the heathens, whether they be gone, and gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. We'll make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Members, Lord, Lord God of Israel, Israel help, help us to love thee, thee and, and then we shall be the true Israel's Israel to God. And my king shall be king over them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. That I will save them out of all the dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God, members. The Lord, Lord God of Israel, Israel help, help us love thee, thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land I have given them to Jacob, my servant, when your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Members, Lord, Lord God of Israel, Israel help, help us to love thee, thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Moreover, I will covenant peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them. And set, my, and set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. But my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Members, Lord, Lord God, God of Israel, Israel help, help us to love thee, thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's Israel God. God. Isaiah, the 45th chapter, 16th and 17th verses. Acts, the 13th chapter, 22nd and 23rd verses. Romans, the 11th chapter, the 26th verse. Galatians 6, chapter 15th and 16th verses. They should be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They should go to confusion together, the makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with everlasting salvation. They should not be ashamed nor, nor confound the world without end. Members, Lord, Lord God, God of Israel, Israel help, help us to love thee, thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. God. And when he had removed him, he raised unto them David to be their king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who shall fulfill all my will. But this man said that God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior Jesus. Members, 
Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. So all Israel shall be saved as it is written. They shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn away on godliness from Jacob. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor veileth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walked according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of God. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Let us all keep our minds on the King of all Israel, and repeat after me as to go through the prayer. Lord God of Israel, Lord God of Israel, there is no God, there is no God like unto thee. Like unto thee, thy name is great. Thy name is great. And shall, shall, and must be honored. Must be honored by all the true Israel of God. All the true Israel of God. So die from this world. Help us so die from this world. And ourselves. And ourselves. That thy kingdom. That thy kingdom. Can freely come to us. Can freely come to us. Let us so be dead to the world. Let us so be dead to the world. And ourselves. And ourselves. That we might be freely willing. We might be freely willing. For thy will to be done. Thy will. Be be done, both in our bodies, both in our bodies and, spirit. and spirit. Help us so love, thee, us so love thee that it will only be, only be thy, will thy will to deliver us, deliver us from all of thy hate and lead us only in the death of thy love. Give us and teach Give us, us thy will and way, thy will and way each, day each day as we're able to receive, able to receive it. it. All the kingdom are thine. All the kingdom are thine. And if we love and thee, we love thee. Thou will freely give, thou freely give and, bless us and bless us with and in them. With and in them. All powers in thy hand. All powers in thy hand. And if we love and thee, we love thee. Thou freely give, thou freely give thy power to thy us. Power to us. Help us so love Help thee, us so love thee that we can be. That we can be the true Israel of God. The true Israel of God. Thou say, Thou will place salvation on thou Zion. Thou place salvation on Zion. We are with Thy glory. We are with Thy glory. He's another blessing. He's another blessing. We ask in the name of the Father. We ask in the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy, and the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. 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 Come get your son, please.
Let's go to the doors, minister's altar. Do you have a theme of scripture read? The theme for this month is live to please the God of Israel. It's found in Proverbs 16th chapter, the first to the ninth verses, and the subject is the seventh verse. And it reads as follows. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigh up the spirit. Commit thy work unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in his heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hands joined in hands shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace. Amen. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenue without right. A man's heart devises the ways, but the Lord directs his steps. And the subject is the seventh verse. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh in him, even his enemies to be at peace with him. May the God of us add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Amen. Stand and ask for a congregation of song, please. It's in my mind. It's in my mind. Mother Kim for that beautiful congregational song. Amen. This time we're going to call forth the deacons to speak on the lesson. We're going to call the young deacon from Ypsilanti, followed by Deacon Juwan, followed by Deacon Eugene, followed by myself. Amen. Deacon from Ypsilanti, here you am. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to say I'm thankful to be in another Tuesday night service at Temple Number One. Um, just to say that uh, my name is Javon, Javon Porter. I'm from the Ypsilanti Temple. My pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. My assistant pastor is, pastor is Elder Carla Chapman. And um, I like the theme this month. It's uh, living to please the God of Israel. And I know that it is true that if you try and live to please the God of Israel, that he'll take care of you and he will bless you. Um, I just got a quick testimony that I got to say. Um, 
this uh, past Monday, I was having a, planning on having a dinner party, and uh, I collect um, depression glass and pink glass and everything else. And I wanted it to be a pink glass dinner party, and I had everything I needed, cups and glass and everything, but I needed some plates. And so I woke up Friday morning, and I was, prayed. I said, Lord God of Israel, please let me find some pink glass plates when I go out to some thrift stores today or an antique store or something. So that way I can have this uh, pink glass dinner party. And um, so I went out and I went to the first store and there wasn't anything. And I went to the second store and there wasn't anything. And then I went to the third store and I was looking around and I looked and it was on a bottom shelf and the spirit told me, look a little harder. And I went and I looked down and I found a set of eight pink glass plates and it was only $7. So I'm, I'm so thankful that if you live to please him, he'll bless you, he will. That's why, and I just love to live to please the God of Islam, I think. Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thank you for the King of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Thank you for the Queen of all Israel, Evangelist of the Elder Barman, Glory, Jean Davis. Uh, to speak on the theme of this month, a life pleasing to the Lord God of Israel. What I get out of this is I have to first acknowledge myself to see what I'm doing to uphold the standard of the king. And briefly, our, our doctrine states in St. John 7, 38, he that believeth on me, as the scripture I said, I, rivers of what? These, this is another peace, health, and joy, and happiness. These things are words that we take a hold, uh, take a hold to because these are the positivity words. And these are words of destruction, and words of character that you want to uphold yourself for you, uphold, uphold in the spiritual church in his army. Uh, can I get uh, Galatians 6.16? For uncircumcision, avail of any circumcision, but a new creature. And many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them. Upon and, and upon the Israel of God. This is valid, validating who we are. We we must walk accordingly to uphold, to have a pleasing a pleasing life in the Lord God of Israel's eyesight, because He's a merciful God, a powerful God, and the only true Most High God. Can I get also? I want to get I want to get Proverbs nine ten. Fear of the Lord is beginning to understand it. Is that Proverbs 19? Fear of the Lord. Beginning of wisdom. Yes. What I get out of this is you have to uphold yourself with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because there's only one God who's the Father of all, above all, and through us all. Amen. I truly rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Speak on this lesson. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with them. Amen. 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 You know what that something is. You know, you look at a person and you see what they're doing, you got to be your own example. People will see you in every which way and you don't know it. People think we only seen one way, but when the God of Israel is out here and he's dwelling in you and you're doing what he told you, what you're supposed to do, you don't have too much to worry about. You know, just keep holding on, doing his will, you know. Just know that you don't have to be like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We all got our own decision to make in life. Whether you want to do right, whether you want to do wrong, whether they want to do the Lord's will, it's all on you. So, you know, when I, when I read that and I see that, that just tells me I got a job to do. And that's a job you can't let up on. I hope somebody came to talk. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of Israel, 
thinking and praising the great and mighty God is for my life. I'm thinking and praising the great and mighty God is for your lives. Thinking and praising him for my natural family, my spiritual family all over. And last but not least, I'm grateful for the King and Queen of Israel, the head of our church. To say that uh, it's a beautiful lesson. Uh, it applies in my life. Uh, you know, to me, Israel is a way of life. You know, it's what a man does, most of what he says. But he's giving the living to please the God of Israel. Sometimes you got to be solid. And here the Lord speaking to you. Sometimes I cannot act on impulse. Because I find out that for many years I've been in the member of the church that it's for a reason. Uh, and every time I come to them doors, it's like the first time for me. But you read the, uh, give me uh, 1 Kings 18, 36, 37, please. Because, you know, if it ain't in your heart, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not truly coming from where it should be. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. He was a prophet. He came in and did what? He said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day. He believed in God is God of Israel. He's his servant. And all he done, he said that God of Israel's word. See, and, 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 and think about it, the belief part about it that grabs me the most in my attention. Because I don't believe it, then I can't receive it. Did you finish that? Now hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me. That these people may know, people may know that they are the Lord God and they'll turn their heart back again. Right. And, 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 and you know, think about it when you're a soldier, when you're a soldier you know, uh, you can't have your helmet of, of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness, and your shield of faith. And that's the words of the God of Israel. Those, those three things that I got to keep to protect them from those fiery darts that the enemy might throw at me. Those are the words of, of discretion or of indiscretion that attack you. Because in your soul, there's always a wall. All the time. So I have to be ready at all times because I never know. But the enemy comes from within. It's my belief. If I don't believe that the enemy can penetrate me, then that way can I do that. If I allow myself to let my guard down, let the words affect me in a negative way, or allow them words to cause me to do something otherwise, then I may have a problem. Uh, give me the lesson. Read right. the whole lesson. The of the man. Now the preparation of the heart of man, let go to the heart again. Go ahead. Now see, sometimes I got to be silent. Just let the God of Israel talk. You understand? Go ahead, read. Now, if I think my ways is clean, sometimes I believe I got more justification to do something because I feel like I want to fight or something that somebody might have said to me that I disagree with. Amen. You understand? But then again, I always got to be there with because I can just stand still. Very read. But the Lord weighed the spirits. The Lord is the man of God in the generation, which is talking about Bishop Bible J. Davis. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Now commit thy works to the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. And thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord has made all things for himself. Now he's made all things for himself. Now, even the wicked for the debut. So I got to work with the wicked because the Lord got his son for the wicked as well. For that day when the time come, he got he gonna fix that too. Because Israel ain't gonna fix that the wild. All right. Go ahead, read. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Everyone meaning that who? Every little man, every small man, or everyone. One man. If it ain't right, then you're gonna say it again. Everyone that is proud in heart is, a, is an abomination to the Lord. Okay. Hand on your hand. He shall not be unpunished. Not be unpunished. By mercy and truth. By mercy and truth. Iniquity is purged. Iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord. If I fear the Lord. Me. Because you don't know I fear the Lord because I know. Now, first of all, I like to thank each and every one of you for sending out the great thoughts to me when I was in the hospital. You know and Because it was nothing to my doing. But I was there for a reason. You know and I was there to realize that your life can be taken away as an instant. It's like that, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing to be worried about because that happens, ain't nothing you can do about that. Amen. Maybe nothing I did, or maybe something that uh, somebody else did, but see, words are powerful. People can say stuff, they can put you in a position, being strong enough, it'll affect you in a negative way, it'll take you out of here. But I want to thank each other one of your prayers, you know what I'm saying, your good thoughts. That means you're standing where I'm standing right now, right here, for this moment. Keep reading. I'm sorry, my time is up And by the fear of the Lord, 
Amen. Well, I'm not going to be uh, negative. I'm not going to be abusive with the word. I hope you get a thought. It's cut me down, man. Again, I rise, give it on the whole Father King. I want to thank God was for my life. Thank God it was for you and your life. Thank God it was for the man of God, this generation, Bishop Bobby Davis, King of all this. Thank God it was for the Queen of Israel. Thank God it was for the whole house of Israel, the world over. Thank God it was for this beautiful lesson, talking about pleasing the God of Israel. You know, we try to please everybody else but the God of Israel. And those other people can't save you. Only the God of Israel can save you. Uh, that should give me the subject. You didn't give me uh, Galatians 110. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You know, that, that's a good thing. When your ways please the God of Israel, he make your enemies just, you know, that's all right. Israel, we are a blessed people. We blessed by the best. And I wouldn't trade nothing for my journey. That's your read Galatians. For do I now persuade man or God? Or do I seek to please man? If I yet please man, I should not be the servant of Christ. Hope someone gave the thought. As things come to the doors in the midst of the altar, as we uh, call forth our youth instructor, we're going to call on Brother Allen to be our youth instructor. Hear you, him. I rise to give honor to Holy Father, King of all Israel, to be the youth instructor. All right. And I uh, appreciate that. Um, so, so much to say to the youth. Darius. Is your name Darius? Okay. So to the youth, you know, this message is for you guys too when you're in school. If you follow what the God of Israel has for you, your enemies could quickly become your allies. All right? So you're in the classroom or you're at home and somebody throws something at you and makes people laugh. Your mind is going to tell you, your mom, what's your name? You, listen. Yes, this is for you, the youth. You are the youth. Yes, ready? Okay, someone throws something at you in, in class and it makes you mad. Your mind is gonna say throw something back, right? It's gonna say cry, it's gonna say hit them. But the God of Israel is going to tell you something different and whatever that is, there, there is. Yeah, whatever that is, it has the power to make your enemy your footstool or your ally, all right? And as adults, we have to do this too, and we do. I do it, I show, my neighbors really came after me. But I just said, okay, and I trusted the God of Israel, and now they come to me for things, okay? And it's the same thing for you guys in the classroom. You guys at home, when you go around in your lives, 18, 19, 20, 21, just this is a powerful lesson. If you listen to God, the people that you think will come to destroy you or are trying to destroy you will actually come and serve you. And that's all. So, King, I hear people say the king has set aside this time to say to our youth not to use drugs. All right. Don't use drugs. Right. Look, hey, hey, don't use drugs. Don't smoke a parent or cousin's cigarette butt. Don't go in the alcohol cabinet and sip it and see what it tastes like. All right. Just don't do it. If you don't do it, you'll have a, a longer and better life. The longer you go without touching these things we tell you not to touch, the You're bigger right. your brain will be to protect you from it. The, the bigger your brain is, the more you can hear the God of Israel's voice. All right. All right? So All right. don't touch this stuff as long as you can, and the God of Israel will continue to bless you. And learn your math. That's all right. All right. All right. Stand on the call for the instruction, Mother Superior Mother, Brad Mother Claire Williams. See you here.
Truly I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be your instructor most tonight. If we have any visitors, you're welcome to the Spiritual Lizard Church in Hisami, a place where you can find peace and you can find grace and happiness. And to the families of Israel, I would like to say to you, don't always feel that you know everything and can't nobody tell you nothing. Everything that you think is, you always think you're right. Nobody's always right. But if you just trust in the God of Israel, he leads you the right way. Remember that just because you think something is right, that doesn't mean it's right. So if someone is trying to tell you something, learn to listen and accept the words, and you, the God of us will lead you in the right way and let you know that this is the right thing to do. All right. This is the right thing to listen to. You can't listen to everybody. Some people will tell you the truth and some won't. But let the God of us lead you because he lives within you. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father, Our Father, which art in heaven, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name, be thy, name thy, kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done in, earth, in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in give, us this day, give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread and forgive us our debts, give us our debts as, we as we forgive our debtors. Forgive our debtors and lead us not, lead us not into, temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from, evil. from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the, kingdom and the power and the, power. And the Glory, and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. See, so I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we greet the Queen of All Israel, Queen, Elder Bride, Mother Vengeance, Gloria Davis. Let's all stand, please. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of All Israel. Thanking and praising the Lord God of Israel for another day. Thanking him that he's kept us, protected us from all hurt, harm, and danger. And we present our bodies right here, living sacrifices for the God of Israel. Thanking him for our king and our pastor, the king of Israel, Bishop Davis. For you, you, and especially you. There's no unimportant person in here. No unimportant person. And if you see that, then that's how you feel about it. There is no unimportant person in the spiritual Israel church in this army. Each one of us has a responsibility and a duty, not just to ourselves, but to each other at some point in some way or another. We're thanking him for our King Bishop Davis. Know that you are important to the God of Israel uh, at all times. Uh, it's, when you go to school, you, have a, you should have the purpose and the reason for going to school in mind so that your being there won't be in vain. When we come to service, our minds should be anchored at where it should be, that our being here is not in vain, that we will be happy that we came to church. We will remember some of the things that we heard from the pastor or whoever was speaking and we'll be glad to, to have the knowledge because it will show up from time to time and you'll see that I'm glad I, I knew that. I'm glad I was listening because I needed that. So let us not allow our coming to church be in vain. There's so much to talk about and I'm gonna try not to go around in circles and here and there, but it's just so much that we need to know and it's for our good, okay? The God of the visual is good and he's good all the time. We can be a witness to that because we're here in these bodies. The God of Israel have kept us. Whether we was acting right or not, he looked beyond our faults and saw our needs, right? And gave us another chance to do what we should be doing, that we can live and, and, and be examples of what the God of Israel is all about. So I'm going to say to you, there's so much to talk about, and I'm going to shut up. Don't allow your being here be in vain. You will find yourself, to some extent, not caring what or as much as you should about being in church if you're doing everything but what you're supposed to be while you're here. 
If you come to church to laugh and talk and have fun, then when someone speaks about that or calls you on that, there go your fun, there go your excitement about going to church because that ain't what you was going for. What I'm saying is, there's a certain frame of mind that we need to be in to receive what we need to receive, okay? It's not just for the mothers, it's, just, it's not just for the grown-ups, so you know, in that fashion or in that way, it's for all of us. Do not allow your coming to service. I won't just say to church, but I'm gonna say to service. Don't allow it to be in vain. Because you just you might blame somebody else for something that you fall into that you shouldn't have and wouldn't have had you been listening. So let's ask the God of Israel to grant us a listening spirit so that we can hear what thus says the Lord God of Israel. It's, it's not a time to just play and have fun. We can do that when it's over. But Ask the God of Israel to show you how to take in what the service is supposed to mean for you. It's not, uh, it's not about your age. It's about you need the God of Israel just as much as your daddy or your mother or your brother or your sister. We all need the Lord God of Israel. And we don't want to be without him. So when we're given an opportunity like tonight, we're given an opportunity to hear what he does for us hear what he's already done for some of us. Oh, we've got some testimonies. We've got some stories to tell about what the God of Israel have done for us. Kept us in the land of the living. Healed our bodies. So let's not take being in service lightly. It's your life. It's your life. And I know you want to protect that. So let's be the best that we can be for ourselves, for the God of Israel, for our families, whether you know it or not, you don't even know who's watching you. You don't know who's watching you or wanting to uh, pattern after you because they like what they see. You're smart, you're intelligent, you're polite, you're all that. So we need one another. We need one another. Let's not forget that. Let's not let that not mean anything because it means everything, okay? So let's just continue to love and serve. Let's continue to ask, ask the God of Israel to show you how to love church. Because it's something you're gonna need as long as you got breath in your body. Ask the God of Israel to show you. Why do they stay there half the night? Well, we're not going home because you said that, so ask the God of Israel to show you why. We don't mind being here for a while because when we get ready to pray or when you need prayer, the same ones that you didn't understand why they don't want to go home gonna be the one praying for you, okay? So let's, let's brush up on what, what church is all about so that we can have our needed portion. Thank you. Thank you, our queen, for those beautiful remarks. Also, very thankful for the words of our instruction mother, our spirit mother, our mother Claire Williams. And also, very thankful for the words of our youth instructor, um, uh, Brother Allen. As, let's all stand, please. All right. All right. see the king come in. Um, someone left their phone in the uh, ladies' bathroom, uh, cell phone. 
I have it. Um, I'd like to uh, remind us that a uh, seminars are coming upon us as you pay your assembly fees. Also, uh, let's not forget our buck a day for the month of uh, July, August, and September. A buck a day. And also, um, we're going to ask for a selection by the. Oh, we also be here Saturday at 10 o'clock working on the building. If you'd like to come out, please come out. And um, we ask, ask for selection by the choir, please. In the first service, we turn to the hands of the minister in charge. Just waiting for you If you do all the things He told you to Be honest Be faithful Kind-hearted and true God got a blessing just waiting for you, God got a blessing. Waiting for you. If you do all He told you to. Be faithful. Quite for that beautiful selection. It's time, uh, oh, whoever's cell phone this is, this is, Mother Clara will have it. Brother Sir, return to the hands of the medicine in charge on Sister Pastor the Hawthorne Smith. Here you have. Amen. I rise to give the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to thank the God of us for allowing me to be out tonight, and thank the God of us for you being out tonight. Thank the God of us, He's waiting for you and I. And I'm thanking God of us for the King of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Jones, David, and the Queen, and all the bishops and ministers out tonight. Especially with my wife being out here with me. And this time we're going to have a beautiful service tonight. And we're going to, be, we're going to bring the person and turn him to Jerry Finney to pass the temple number two. Let's give him a hand. He's coming out high. So we got our main speaker going to be Bishop. I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I'm thanking the God tonight for my life. And I'm thankful for you and for your lives also. I always thanking him for allowing you and I to come together once again to give thanks and praise to his holy name. And I'm thankful this day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it because the God of Israel thought enough for you and I to share his day with us. So we got a lot to be thankful for Israel. So always stop along the way, give thanks and praises to the almighty God of Israel for the wonderful God that he is in each and every one of our lives. Thankful the man of God in this generation, our own Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, the queen, I'm thankful for Israel the world over, All right. especially thankful for temple number two. All right. And I, this morning I went to the hospital to see uh, Bride Mother Lynette Barnett. She was laying in the bed in the hospital this morning, but she's sitting in church back there tonight. <laughs> the God of Israel is good, ain't it? <laughs> Thankful to see my brother at the hospital, my own brother Eugene Rankins. Thank the God of Israel. Yes, sir. I got to say, we got a lot to be thankful for, Israel. Let's continue to pray for one another. 
At this time, the further service is being in the hands of the uh, Vice President of the United Ministers Council, the District Bishop, and the Pastor of Temple of the Mount Clemens Temple, our own Bishop Kenneth Edwards. Let's receive him as he comes to our house. I rise give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising the goddess of my life, thanking for your lives, thanking for the lives of our brothers and sisters, the spiritual Israel church and its army the world over. Thanking him for being a good God, for being a merciful God, for being a forgiving God, for being a loving God, and most of all, for being a right here and a right now God. Now the God way off beyond the sun and the moon and the stars that we're hoping someday somehow to meet, but rather a God that walks and talks in you and I. Thank you for keeping his arms of love and protection wrapped around each and every one of us, allowing us to return to his place one more time, still giving us the opportunity to come up to be what he would have us to be. And say, truly, Israel, this is the day that the Lord had made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Still being thankful for the man of God in this generation, the king of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, his administration and leadership, and all those that love him and support him. Being thankful for our queen, evangelist, elder bride, mother Gloria Davis. Being thankful for our overseer, Bishop Harvey Beavers. Being thankful for our assistant overseer, Bishop Flanders Carswell Jr. Through, truly being thankful for the church that I pass at the Mount Clemens Temple and the members of the Mount Clemens Temple. Very, very, very thankful today to be in the presence of the king at Temple Number One and just thankful for every member of the spiritual Israel church in this army. Let's give the God of Israel a cheer. Let's give him some praise. Let's give him thanks because it's just good to be in the land of the living. Um, we have a wonderful speaker today, um, the pastor of Temple Number 8, a man who has come to be my brother and my friend, uh, can truly, truly lay down the doctrine of Israel and ain't scared to tell nobody about his God. So at this time, we're going to go to this choir for an uplifting selection, and then I will have you to receive the pastor of, the, of Temple Number 8, Bishop Edward Lee Mack. I thank you.
Truly, I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, all right, to present my body living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the great and almighty God of Israel, which is my reasonable service. Thanking the God of Israel for the man of God in this generation, Amen. Bishop Bobby J. Davis and the Queen of all Israel, his wife, being thanked for the overseer and the system overseer and their wives, and also being thankful for my wife. Thankful for the spiritual of a church in this army, the world over every member, name by name. Especially thankful for the portion of temple number eight that's out tonight. Hopefully we all still seeking for more wisdom, more knowledge, and a better understanding how to suit and serve a true and a living God. We have a beautiful theme and lesson. Living to please the God of Israel. Amen. I hope, <laughs> easy said, that it is done sometime. I hope that's what we're here for. To please the God of Israel. We can do certain things to please other people, and it don't always have to be the right thing to please them either. Right. But the God of Israel is the one we really truly want to please. Yes, sir. Don't let your coming here be in vain. All right. I tell people sometimes, we're always hollering with Israel, and that's a good thing, but just wearing the name of Israel won't save you and I. If wearing the name would save you, we'd have never lost anyone. So that lets me know just wearing the name is not enough. We've got to become to be true Israel of God. You don't have to worry about pleasing man, not will man. You please the God of Israel. And everybody that's in the God of Israel is going to be pleased with you. You ain't worried about the ones that are not going to be pleased with you. You just keep on pleasing the God of Israel. He is the one that have all power. And when your enemy rises up against you, that lesson is letting you know that I fight you, battle. You just stand still. He can handle it. You can you may get yourself killed. Huh? But stand back and let him take care of it. He knows just what to do. Amen? Amen. And I remember, and this came into my mind. He said, because I, if I draw back, my breath. See, somebody can be getting ready to hurt you. And he just draw the breath back and they just. He got that kind of power. Amen? He got that kind of power. He's a good God. Amen? I want you to get me some scriptures. May sound like a lot, but it ain't going to take long. Give me St. John 7, 38. Deuteronomy 6, 4, 5, and 6. Hebrew 11, 1 and 6. Then give me Proverbs, the 16th chapter, 1 down to the ninth verse. Then give me Deuteronomy, the 6th chapter, 24th and 25th verse. Deuteronomy the seventh chapter, six down to the ninth verse. These scriptures letting us know what we should be doing. Then give me Romans 13, 1, 2, and 3. Romans 12, 1 and 2. 
Romans, the eighth chapter, start at the eighth verse, give me the twelfth verse, thirteen and fourteenth verse. I want the 8th verse, and then you drop down to the 12th verse, 13 and 14, just to make sure you understand that. Then give me Galatians 16, down to 26. It's got the good, the bad, and the ugly. Galatians, the 5th chapter, 16th verse, down to 26. Then give me Galatians 6th chapter, Sixth verse down to the tenth verse. Psalms 73 1. And Psalms 72, 17, 18, and 19. And I want to throw in Titus 1 and 2. And Proverbs 12, 28. It's good just to be here in the midst of the man in this generation whom the God of Israel have placed over you and I. A man that I have grown to love and I've also been thankful for his wonderful wife that sticks by his side. Take down something that he said what? He doesn't need it for me. As the scripture has said. He I know it reads like that, but she got to believe on him too. He that believes on me. As the scripture has said. Why I said me because I'm standing before you today. Jesus ain't talking. The King of Israel, not just so I ain't talking right now. Bishop Mack is. All right. And I'm going to drop this on you too. He may be doing it through me. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Out of his belly. Out of his belly. Shout flow. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Right. Now, if you and I truly believe that, I don't believe we should be one for nothing. He said, out of your belly don't flow rivers of living water. So shouldn't be nothing bad coming from you and I. We should be treating everybody right. All right, all right. Come on. Israel. He said, Hear Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord our God, the Lord our God Lord. is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. So you ain't got no two or three to try to please. Amen. Just please the one. All right. And you should be all right. Come on. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. With all thine heart. How much? With all thy heart. With all thy heart. With all thy soul. With all thy soul. With all thy might. With all thy might. With these words. These words. I command thee this day. Which I'm telling you about this day. Shall be in thy heart. Shall be in the heart of your mind. Huh? I ain't talking about the one that pumped the blood. Huh? But I'm talking about the one that keep what you need to keep. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Your mind need to be regulated, right? right. These words will do it for you. Come on. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. See, you got to have faith for that shit you don't see. If you're looking for something, you can't see it. Just have faith is coming. And Paul said, it's already on the way. <laughs> Come on. But without faith, y'all hear that? So we must have faith then, don't we? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, that he is a and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently, them that diligently him. not just do it today, but daily, do it every day. Huh? 
Not one day out of a week, not two days out of a week. Do it every day. That's how you and I are going to become to be perfect with God. Jesus left on the way. He said he thought it not be robbed to be robbed to be equal with God. You and I can feel the same way. Amen. The same way. Come on. The preparation of the heart of man. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. From the Lord. All, the ways of a man All the ways of a man. In his own Good God Almighty. I, I, I see the way that read, but the way I came up in my life, sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I think of things God really know about it, but it ain't right. Huh? What did it say? All the ways of a man. In his own and you got a lot of people that like it. They said we're cleaning God's eyes, did it? They said cleaning their own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. But the Lord, see, you may be looking at one thing, he's looking at something else. Amen? Come on. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And thy thoughts. And thy thoughts. Shall. I Meaning, sure enough, it's going to materialize, right? Shall be what? Established. The Lord has made all things for himself. The Lord has made all things for himself. He said he made the bad, the good, and the ugly. Right. And then he turned around and said, I would that you would chose good so that you can live. Well, huh? Come on. Come on. Yay. Yay. Even the wicked. For the day, well, somebody got to do it. He said, I said before he did say life and death, good. So somebody got to do it. Bad gonna come through the body, just as well as good come through the body. You just make sure you the one doing the good. Because the one doing the bad gonna lose everybody one day. But you that's doing the good, you can preserve that body. You can keep it. I believe each other life is already in. We just gotta do the thing to obtain it. Come on. Everyone that is proud in heart. It's an abomination to the Lord. Be careful about what you're being proud in then. Uh, some of us do the wrong thing. Think the wrong thing. And we, I'm proud my sister got hurt. And you talking about you love the God of Israel. I'm so glad that happened to her. Something wrong with you. You ain't got no good at checking nobody else. You need to check yourself. Come on. Your hand joining hand. You should not be on. I don't care how much bad you do. You, you think you ain't going to pay for it. If that's the way you're thinking, you're just a thinking crazy. Because you're going to pay for every hour of thought. Some of this stuff you don't even act up. You still got to pay for it. Just for having that evil thought. Come on. By mercy and truth. By mercy and truth. And nigga is purged. And if we truly fear the God of Israel, we won't be thinking wrong, won't be doing nothing wrong. Don't be going around and talking about you fear the God of Israel and you started doing things wrong. But you ain't doing nothing but lying to yourself. Because when you come up to me with it, and I know the way you've been living your life, I'm going to say you was a liar. Because I already know you're lying. I see the way you're living your life. Come on. By the fear of the Lord. Men, see, if we fear the God of evil, we would depart from evil. Right. Well, I like that. When a man weighs, please the Lord. He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. When I please him, I ain't got to worry about you beating me up. I'm going to put the police on you. And I ain't talking about the natural police. I'm talking about the spiritual police. The God of Israel. All power is in his hand. If he tells you to stop, you're going to stop. Even if he have to knock you out. Come on. Better than little with righteousness. Better what? Better is a little with righteousness. Better is a little. In other words, what he's really saying, it's better to do some good than not do none at all. Amen. Doing some good to keep you living a little while longer. But if you do all bad, I ain't going to tell you it may get cut off quick. You don't know. Come on. Then great revenues without right. A man's heart devises his way. 
a man hard devises his way. But the Lord directed his steps. I like that. When he directs some of these thoughts I have in my mind, make me feel good. I know he's working. Amen? Come on, y'all. And he and the Lord demanded us to do some of these statues. No, he wants us to do all these statues. To fear the Lord our God. To fear the Lord our God. For our good always. For our good always. That he may preserve us alive. That he may preserve us alive. And this is what we're coming here for our hope to get these words so we can preserve our bodies. So we can stay alive. I ain't coming here to die. I'm coming in to get the words, then I can sustain my body. Come on. As it is at this day. As it is at this day. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be our righteousness. What? If we observe. If we observe. To do all these commandments. For the Lord our God. For the Lord our God. As he has commanded us. We got to do this. For the God of Israel, for ourselves. You can't save nobody else. You can only save yourself. This is an individual thing. Come on. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord God of Israel. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He wants you to be a special people unto himself. Because he are the one that's keeping you and I. We ain't got to worry about nobody else. They ain't got that kind of power, no way. Come on. Above all the people. Above all the people. They are up on the faith of God. He, you see how much he love us? He lost the word's name. Huh? That's a better name than all the Matt gave me. Because there was no power in his name. I'm saying... A name that got power in it. Come on. The Lord did not set his love upon you. The what? The Lord did not set his love upon you. The Lord did not set his love upon you. Now chose you. Because you were more in number than any people. We were the fewest of all peoples. And then all right. Come on. But because he loved us. Because he will keep the oath. And he made this way back yeah, before you and I were born. And it's still good today. Still good today. Come on. Has the Lord brought you out with the mighty hand? Has the Lord brought you out with the mighty He brought people out way back there. I see him bringing people out up here today. We might not have been in the same situation some of them was in back there in that day and time. But I, I don't believe it's a, a human being sitting on the side of my boat that God ain't brought you out of something. All right. Well, he done brought you out of something. Come on. Y'all help out. And redeemed you out of the house of bondmen. And redeemed you out of the house of bondmen. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. From the hand of Pharaoh. King of, King of Egypt. No, therefore. No, therefore. That the Lord thy God. That the Lord thy God. He is God. He is God. He is the God. God. What? The faithful, the faithful God. God. Which keepeth. Which keepeth. Covenant and mercy. Covenant and mercy. With them that love him. For who? With them that love him. For them that love him. Make sure you love the God of you. Don't just be saying that. Be true with it. Because God knows whether you're lying or not. You may fool me, but you can't fool God no time. Come on. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. For a thousand generations. Come on, y'all. Let every soul. Let every soul. Be subject unto the higher power. Be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of God. But of God. The power that be, be are ordained, ordained of God. And whosoever therefore resists the power 
resisting the audience of God. Right. We don't want to do that, y'all. Right. We want to be as close to him as we possibly can. Yeah. Come on. And they that resist, and they that resist shall, receive to themselves shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror unto good work. So there ain't no law for doing good. The law is for doing evil. Huh? Right. It worked like that, naturally so, although his people done got caught up yeah. and hadn't did certain things. I, I know that too. All right, all right, all right. I hate to see people go to jail and stay in there that long. Sometimes they find out they was, they wasn't guilty and they let them out, but they done stayed in there 20 years. All that life is gone. Come on. Without then, not be afraid of the power. Not be afraid. Every time we get ready to have an evil thought, I think that's when we should be afraid of God's power. Oh, as long as you've done good, you ain't never got to fear God. Right. Come on. Do that which is good. Do that which is good. And thou shalt have praise of the same. And thou shalt have praise of the same. Come on. I beseech you therefore, brother. I beseech you therefore, brother. By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. That you present your body. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't nothing dead. That's why he got a roll like that. A living sacrifice. Holy. Holy. Acceptable unto God. Acceptable unto God. Which is your reasonable service. Which is our reasonable service. And be not conformed to this, and be not conformed to this world. world but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. He may prove that you may prove. But is that good? But is that good? And acceptable perfect and perfect will of the God is real. Amen. Come on. So what? So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Therefore, brother, we are debtors. Not to live that nothing. Come on. To live after the flesh. So if you live after the flesh, right. it'll kill your graveyard dead. Man. You shall die. But if you do the spirit, if you do, the spirit the of the do modify the deeds of the body, you, you can live. For as many as I live by the spirit of God, they are the, they are the sons and daughters of God. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. This I say, this I say this. walk in the spirit. You should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against, against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. They are contrary the one to the other. They don't get along with one another, y'all. Come on. So that you cannot do the things that you will. But if you are not the Lord of the spirit, we are not under the law. The Lord is for the one that's doing good, for the one that's doing bad. Come on. Now, the that's what I want y'all to see. Right. So you can stay out of them territories. Right. Now, the works of the flesh is what? Manifest. Manifest. Which are these? Adultery. Fornication. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Hatred. Violence. Immolation. Well, right. strife, sedition, he'll seize, he'll save. <laughs> Come on, drunkenness, rebellion, a such life, which I've told you before. Good God, how many times have you told us? Come on, now, they that do such things, if we're still in that territory, we're going to lose out, y'all. And we don't want to lose that, so let's move. Amen. Come on. But the fruit of the Spirit. Of the spirit. Now this here will keep you. The fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. 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 Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Long suffering. Right, Gentleness. Goodness. Goodness. Faith. 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 Meekness. Temperance. Against, Against such. Against the law. They ain't going to rest you for doing that. But that other stuff, you can get arrested for. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So let us practice doing good. Yeah. Come on. And they that are Christ, 
and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the flesh and the lust. Lord help. If we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. Let us not be desires of vain glory. What? Provoking one another. Ending one another. That's one thing I ain't never did a day in my life. Ending somebody. I don't care how much money they got. What kind of car they riding in? Think for my little Volkswagen. My little house. It ain't sitting on no hill, but I'm thankful. And grateful. Come on. Truly? Listen. God is good to his real. To even such as I of a clean heart. That you want him to keep being good to you? Come on, y'all. Lord, help. One, two, three, four, five. Let him that is taught in the word. Good God Almighty. Communicate unto him. And see, and I'm going to say this. You got to learn how to communicate with the God if it's a spirit within you. You don't be around the man all the time. You don't be around your pastor all the time. That's why they're teaching us so we can get it for ourselves. Come on. Be not deceived. God is not mine. What's the name of man put out there? That shall be also It's coming back home. Be careful about what you're putting out there. Because it's sure coming back home. Come on. He that sowed to his flesh. He that sowed to his flesh. Shout out the flesh. With corruption. But he that do it to the spirit. Shout out the spirit. Reap life everlasting. Ain't no end to that one, y'all. Come on. Let us not be weary and weary because something they think they something. Keep on doing good. Don't worry about what they're talking about. Don't even let it upset you. I just like you didn't even hear. Put your head up in the air and keep on stepping. Like you didn't hurt a doggone thing. You ain't got to get mad about everything people say about you. If I get mad about it, what every, every time somebody says something about me, I'll probably be crazy or a road lizard. Come on. And then remember, I ain't gonna lie in the bosom of a fool according to the book. Come on. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. not. Listen, listen. As we have therefore opportunity, some men, just in Israel, wherever you meet them at, treat everybody right. Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, whatever the denomination is, if they ain't no denomination, treat them right. But watch this though, especially unto them. And we here together, we're in the same thing. We shouldn't be mistreating nobody up in here. If you God don't want you to mistreat nobody, I tell you, sure shouldn't be treating nobody up in here. We're in the same faith you were in. Come on, if let's get right. Come on. His name shall endure forever. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. And men shall be blessed in him. Men and women shall be blessed in him. All nations shall, All nations shall call them blessed. Blessed be the Lord God. Be the, Lord God. the God of Israel. Who only doeth one of his, one of his things. And blessed be his glorious name. Forever. forever. And let what? Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. That's everywhere, ain't it? Yeah. Be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. All right. Yeah. And right. hope of eternal life. Yeah. And what? And hope of eternal life. I like that. In hope of eternal life. Which God, which God they cannot lie. They cannot lie. He promised this before he made the world. So if it wasn't about us here, he must have promised it to himself. Come on. In the way of righteousness. When we do what's right, that give us life. And more life abundantly. 
Come on. In the pathway thereof, there is no death. There is no death. Ain't it all right? May the God of you continue to bless us. May he continue to keep us. It will let us work on ourselves. Let us learn to get our house in order so that we can have this eternal life. Amen. May the God of you continue to bless us and keep us. And I'm going to turn this part in the hand of Bishop Edwards. Let's hear him as he comes to us. I rise again to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking the gospel for Bishop Edward Lee Mack and a beautiful, beautiful message we received from him. Let's give him another cheer. <laughs> and at this time, I'm not going to prolong the time. We're going to go back to this choir for an uplifting selection, and then I will have you to receive the overseer of the Spiritual Israel Church in this army, Bishop Harvey Beavers. Let us receive the choir. I ask to give honor to Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to sing a song. Surely I love it. Surely I love it. Surely. 
I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. He said, first, I want to thank the God that goes up for my life, my health, my strength, being in my right mind. And I want to thank the God that he blessed you with those same blessings that we could gather ourselves together right here at Historic Temple Number One in the service of a true and a living God. And by you being here, you prove that you're seeking for more wisdom more knowledge and a better understanding of how to suit and to serve a man a true and a living god and, and that song right there israel is real boy i remember boy that used to be a number one hit i hadn't heard that in a long time a beautiful song seen a many shouting services off of that song right there and you know what he is real I wonder, can anybody be a witness today that Israel is real? He ought to be done, done something for you by now. Well, you don't have to believe or imagine. You should know Israel is real. It, it's a feeling you have that even when you're going through something, you just, you just feel like, my God's going to bring me out of this. I might be feeling a little low today, but if I can just hold on yeah. and hold out, yeah. everything yeah. is going to be all right. Yeah. I like how Elder Paul said sometimes, he said, it's already done. Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is believe it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we we so thankful to be here. I always want to give a, you know, I'm always thankful for the man of God that taught me, the late Bishop Allen Cox. I didn't come here with this. So somebody taught this to me. And I just give myself credit for one thing. I, I put the time in. Yeah. They didn't have to hunt for me. Yeah. <laughs> I came to church. Yeah. So, so I put the time in. Yeah. But I was so thankful I met that man. And I'm thankful that I've got another teacher now right. that's teaching me, my pastor, the king of Israel, right. Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Amen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, our leader, yeah. the man of God, in our generation. Now, we're going to please God, but you ain't going to please him in the spirit. Right. You're going to please the God of God working through somebody. Come on, God. You're going to please God in a body. Yes, sir. Now, hopefully, you learn how to please him in your body. Yeah. Now, sometimes that might be hard because some of us ain't been taught of spirit. Right, right. Be sitting around in his still natural mind. Come on now. Amen. But if once you get taught a spirit, God, if you please him in you, he's going to be pleased everywhere else. Yes, but you going to have somebody, what do you say, the, the problem that me is ordained? Yes. Amen. Right. That, and you got you to gotta understand that ordained power. Right. Don't skip over the, 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 the body trying to get to the spirit. You're going to miss it. Because the spirit of God got to be contained in something. Right. If it ain't, it's just, it's just out in the element. And a lot of people like it out there like that, too, because then but God told me. And they told me that, what did I can say, what God? Get back over there and sit down until I tell you to move. Amen. Say it, amen. Ain't that all right? God in a body, he sent a prophet, and he told us if we don't obey that prophet, he is going to require it <laughs> of us. But you gotta but you gotta deal with you gotta build a relationship with God in you. And you shouldn't have to need nobody to always pat you on the back. The spirit in you should be able to tell you, I'm pleased with you. Even if everybody else don't agree. Because if you if you're in here trying to win a popularity contest, you're in the wrong business. Because a whole lot of it is said a way to destruction is broad. And many that be the fatter. But the true way, traveler every night. So you got to know, you got to know that you being obedient to whom God done put over you. This is what's going to, this is what's going to make it, make it work for you. Obey the one that's over you in righteousness. Now I ain't telling nobody to obey somebody, you know something wrong, talking about, well, they told me to do it. If you know it's wrong, you know you're going to pay for that. Beat with many stripes, amen. But if, but if other than that, when you don't, 
when you don't know, you, your best bet, obey. Amen? Now, I'm just going to get ready. I want our sister Cookie to get ready and come up with the choir. The king wants her to sing for him, along with the choir. I'm going to say this one thing about this lesson here. It's a, it's a part in there. I think it's the third verse. St. John 7, 3, they say, he that believes on me, scripture says, out his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, this third verse says, uh, commit thy works unto the Lord in your thoughts. Now, this here is a spiritual dynamic. When I really learned this, my life changed. Because in the natural world, they teach you, if you think right, you'll do right. But actually, in the spirit, it's in reverse. It's in reverse. You got to do right. And then you'll think right. That's why when Jesus was talking to his disciples, according to the written record, he said, if your enemy hungry, feed him. He didn't say, think about it. Because if that's your enemy, and you think about it too long, he ain't going to get nothing. But he just said, if he hungry, feed him. And you, by feeding him, you are turning him into a friend. Amen. So we found out if we just do right, and sometimes we can get analysis paralysis. We'll think so long till we end up doing nothing. That's why Nike came up with the slogan. Just do it. Just do it. You don't be trying to figure out how to pay your tax. Just move the decimal point over one point and get that money out your pocket. And if you just do it, you will find out you'll be pleasing God. I hope you gained the thought. I said, now right here, I have the privilege and the, the honor and the privilege, but most of all, it's a pleasure. It's great to have someone you can follow. I'll be honest, I can't follow everybody. I can't follow nobody can't do least much as me. I have a problem with that. But I'm so thankful that the God of Israel gave us a leader. Not only do we walk the walk, I mean talk the talk, but he walks the walk. A man, you can feel the spirit of God around you. I tell you this much, if you believe, really believe, you can get results quick. This is what I done found out. That's why I love him so. It don't take all day, man. If you get your belief right, you almost can get a result almost instantly. You'll be made whole. What's them, how do you say it back there? In the self-same hour. Amen. It's up to you. Your faith will make you whole. We have a great leader, Israel. I hope we realize what God has given us. Amen. Huh? Be like Motel 6. Let's keep the light on, y'all. Let's do things to keep the light on. He is the light in the house of Israel. And I'm speaking of none other than Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Amen? We're going to get ready to bring our own sister Cookie in the choir. And after which I'm going to raise my hand and we're going to greet the king of all living, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Let's receive the choir. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all of Israel, to say I'm very thankful. Uh, first of all, for my life, I'm thankful to be here tonight with uh, my family, uh, being thankful that the God of Israel brought me over the highway here safe and sound. And um, let me see what I'm going to sing. Um, I still Um, I still remember what he done for me. Oh, Lord, I still remember what you done for me, what you done for me.
what you done, done what you done for me. You done. I remember what you done. What you done for me. Oh Lord. I still Oh, what you done. my life and thanking him for yours, thanking him for each and every one that's out the time that you're out, showing that you are seeking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the true and the living God. Uh, after all, we came to church, yes, amen, uh, seeking, hoping for the words and knowledge and understanding of a true and the living God, the God of Israel. We thank him for our overseer, our sister and overseer, our queen, our yes. sister pastor, each and every one of you. Thank him for yes. our bishops being here and the elders, pastors, thank you, Bishop Mack, yes. amen. I told him we better get wet, so he got his head wet. <laughs> Amen. So thanking him for each and every one of you. Uh, thanking him for the, for the just he's looking good. Amen. Yeah, all these assistant pastors around here. And... Amen. 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 One day, one day. <laughs> Amen. So we thank God for you. Y'all feel all right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, thanking him for a living God. Uh, thanking him for... First of all, we believe that God is, right? Yes. Amen. Because if you don't believe that he is, then you can't please him. <laughs> Amen. You please yourself. Amen. But we believe that the God really is. He, and he lives and, 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 and he, 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 he makes a way for us. Amen. He's, he, he looked beyond our fragile mind and sees the importance of our mind. Amen. Uh, 
He's our substance. He's our hope. He's our power source. Uh, he's the one we lean and depend on. Uh, he's our friend. He's our counselor. He's our everything. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, I mean, he's uh, the, the mighty God, the wonderful Savior. Uh, he's the, 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 uh, he's the bag of chips. <laughs> I couldn't think of nothing else. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but he, he, he's everything. You know, and, uh, and what's so good about it, everybody can, can only speak for themselves. You know, and I can speak for myself how uh, how it heals, how, what it means to me, and you can speak for yourself. Yes, yes. Amen. And, but I, I think everybody has a testimony or can be a witness of what he is to you. Amen. Amen. Yes. And sometimes you can't convey that, uh, but you can do something to show that you have heard his words. Yes. Amen. Because some feelings is, is just expressed. All right. Yeah. right. Amen. Yes. Words can't really des describe it. Yeah, like words can't des describe how good a God really is to me. Uh, when I think about my early existence up until now, and, and think of the things that I haven't even spoken about, He has been so good. Amen. And He has brought me from a mighty long way. And that's the reason I serve Him. Amen. Uh, I want to. Amen. Uh, don't you want to? I, I, mean, I mean, nobody is forcing me to come to church. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. Once I come to find out about the God of Israel, he wasn't in no sky. Yeah, up yonder somewhere looking down at me, I found out he was in me. All right, and I began to have a relationship with the God of Israel. Amen. And he accepted me just as I was. All right. Amen. I had, I had an opinion of myself that I wasn't good enough. Right. Amen. But God accepted me. Yeah. Amen. Right. Hey, man, let me quit. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a, so it's a good feeling when, when, when you're accepted by the God of Israel. Amen. And, and you ain't got to try to put on no, no show, no ass. You ain't got to prove that to somebody else. Amen. You just know that the God of Israel love me. Amen. 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 And, and, and he has brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. So it don't make a difference what other folks think. It's just what I think about it. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Ain't it good? Amen. Well, just think about it, you know, uh, in the quietness of your own mind, you know, knowing who you are, amen, how, how much he loved you, amen, he took care of you, amen, he was in an accident, surrounding me with your protection, amen, hospital, amen, Lord love was along the way, but he still was good, amen, not give me a witness of that, amen, y'all hear me, amen, so it don't matter, amen, it's what I think about it. Yeah, it's what you think about it. Yeah. What do you think about this God? Yeah. Can you be a witness? Yeah. Yeah. And he's my burden bearer. Yeah. He's my friend. Yeah. Yeah. He's my doctor. Yeah. Yeah. He's my lawyer. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He's everything to me. Yeah. 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 Amen. And everybody give a witness, right? Yeah. 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 Everybody, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I can say it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I can say it for me, Doc. Can you say it? He's my own and all. He's my everything. Yes. And I feel good about it. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's a personal thing, right? Amen. You, you, you come for you and I come for me. Amen. And when we get together, we serve the same God. Amen. But you got to have that feeling. Yeah. I'm in love with the God of Israel. Y'all yeah. hear me? Yeah. I love him. Yeah. I love him. Because yeah. he first loved me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like singing that song. Y'all yeah. yeah. know, I really love the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because he done something for me. I mean, I mean, I mean, it is, it is personal. Because everybody got their own you, you know where you've been. And you know what he's done for you. Right? Yeah. And you might not have told nobody else. But you, you got a feeling that he, he was there. Jesus yeah. said all the time. When you need him most, he stepped in just in time. Yeah. I can be a witness of that. Yeah. Yeah. So when we come to church, we come to church to praise him. 
had to thank him for all the things he done for us. He might not have done for you. He might not have died your eyes, but he died mine. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. All right. All right. That's, that's, what makes, that's what makes it so personal. Yeah. 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 We all can be our own witnesses because, 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 because I mean, hey, <laughs> it's good to feel loved by the God of Israel. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. You see, what, what I like about the God of Israel, he don't put stipulation in, in that way. Right. Amen. Right. See, he, 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 his love shines on the good as well as the ungood. Right. The just as well as the unjust. Right. Amen. His love, yeah. amen, lifted me. Yeah. His love brought me through. Yeah. His love keeping me. Yeah. His love. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now I love him back too. I love him back. I love the God of Israel. Amen. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. And I'm not ashamed to tell anybody. Amen. He's my God. All right. And I love him. All right. Amen. 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 I, let, me, let, let, me, let me let me let me let me let me do this my way, okay? <laughs> now, 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 now you feel it however you feel it. Amen. I is personal, right? And, and if you happen to want to say it along with me, you make it personal. All right? Because it's a personal thing. Amen. And the more I have found out that the more I take it personal, the stronger I am in my conviction towards the God of Israel. Amen. Because my love and contention on whether you love it or not is on about me. Amen. Ain't that like my little net? Thank the God of Israel for her. Amen. Amen. And all those. And God is still praying through. Amen. I really love the Lord. Lord, have mercy. I really love the Lord. This is what I like. This is what you don't know. <laughs> You don't know what he's done for his personal. Oh, he gave me the victory. I love him. I love him. I really love the Lord. I ask you a question. Is there anybody here <laughs> who love Israel? Yes, Is there anybody here yes, who loves the Lord? Yes, you ought to wave your hand. Yes, Stomp your feet. Yes, if you really love Israel, yes, I want to know. I want to know if you Part of it, he gave me the victory. Yeah. I really love the God of Israel. 
because he's done so much for me. And, and I'm not by myself, but I'm just being a witness in myself that he's been good. Amen. And I know you can too. Amen. So we thank the God for that. Uh, he's uh, uh, pl pleasing the God of Israel. Amen. You got to believe that he is. That he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Amen. So we got to actively seek the God of Israel. Amen. And uh, there's so much to be said. But we thank the God for you. Thank you for the words of God. Thank you for the teaching. Thank you for uh, the, the moments like these. You know, when the water is troubled, you, know, you can just jump in there. Amen. You know, and let the God of the Spirit consume you. And then you forget everything else. You, you, you forget about what's right and what ain't right. You forget about what's up and what ain't down. You just be consumed by the spirit of the God of Israel. Amen. Uh, I'm telling you, what that song said, cloud nine. <laughs> All right. Amen. Riding high yeah, yeah. on cloud nine. All right. Amen. So we thank God for you. Um, the God of Israel is, is good to us all. And we, we um, pray and, and send out our, our healing thoughts to, to all over the land of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Let the, the power of the God of Israel continuously spread throughout. Yeah. And go in the doctor in the sick room, go in the, in the hospitals and nursing homes, uh, walk the streets or wherever it is, jailhouses, wherever it is. Amen. And make his presence known by the manifestation of his power. Yeah. That the sick can begin to say, I'm well. Amen. And the weak can begin to say, I'm strong. Amen. And the sad can begin to say, I'm happy. Amen. And the down can say, I'm up. Amen. I'm back. It ain't going nowhere. Amen. So, so we wish that, pray for that, that the God will continue to bless us all. Amen. That we continue to give him the glory and give him the praise. So again, thank God for you. Thank you, Bishop Matt. Come up and give us a word. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And uh, thank God I was here. Mr. Ken, uh, sister pa our pastor here, and also our right. Pastor Pontiac, yeah. Sister Pastor Ed Marin, Evangelist Foster, Sister Pastor Ypsilanti, right. Sister Pastor number eight, all the deacons, mothers, sisters, and brothers. Yeah. Thank God for you. Self worth means a lot when it comes to the God of Israel and, and your relationship to the God of Israel. Amen. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll leave that alone. Amen. So we're going to turn it back in the hands of our Uh But, uh, yeah, I, I was just thinking. I, 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 I apologize. I'm, I'm talking too much. But uh, uh, I was just thinking that it really ain't what people think. It's not that difficult. None of that. You know, it just it's just an acceptance of what it is. Yeah. And allowing the spirit of God really to consume you to the point that it changes your mind about a lot of things you've been thinking. Yeah, because they lack that. One day we all shall overcome. Back in hand I always say. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Let's give the King of Israel another round of applause. Yeah. The wonderful words and ushering in of the wonderful spirit of the God of Israel through our King. So thankful for that. So right now we're going to ask you to sit with your feet flat on the floor and the palm of your hands in a receptive position as though you're about to receive something. Is there a demonstrator tonight? Not seeing one. I'm going to ask our pastor, temple number two, if he'll come forward. Elder Finn, let's receive him.
I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the God of Israel, which is my reasonable service. Let us sing with uplifting voices the demonstration song, and what the God of Israel gives me, I will gladly pass it on to you. Let us sing, please. Let us sing. Israel, as I come into your vibrations, the God of Israel didn't show me any hurt, harm, or danger to befall anyone under the sound of my voice. But keep yourself in the safety zone by doing that which is right, that you know to do that is right. And listen, Israel, let's be more thankful to the God of Israel. The God of Israel loves us with an everlasting love. Be more thankful and don't complain about things. And listen, if you ask the God of Israel for something, don't give up on it. Amen. Wait patiently for it, and he's going to come through for you. Like I said, the God of Israel loves you and I with an everlasting love. And he has told us he will never leave you nor forsake you. But you got to trust this God. you got to believe that he is. Like the king said, reward of them that diligently seek him. So may the God of Israel bless you and keep you and smile on you and give you all peace. Thank you. Amen. We thank our demonstrator for the demonstration. We're going to ask that you take heed to it. It will lead God, protect, and keep you to you return to your various sacred temples again. Before I sign off, we the Ypsilanti Temple would like to thank each and every one of you that came out Sunday and made our annual day such a great success. We had a wonderful, wonderful time, and it would not have been possible without you, the people of Israel, coming out and celebrating with us. We also want to thank you for the wonderful thoughts and uh, sympathies and condolences and those of you that came by while we lost our great member, our own trustee Lucille. So we at Ypsilanti Temple are so thankful for the other vineyards, for your support and everything that you gave us over this past weekend. So without any uh, for the do, I'm going to turn the remaining servants over to the assistant pastor here. Let's receive him, Elder Hawthorne Smith. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I rise to the the Holy Father, King of all lives. Let's truly thank the God of Israel for the King. Let's get a King another hand. Thank the God of Israel. Everybody came out tonight, and we had a wonderful, wonderful service. At this time, we'll call for our announcer, we'll call for our secretary, and let's be thankful that we're here in the land of the living. Amen.
In the communion. And the communion. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. All be in. All be in. And go with us all. And go with us all. From this meeting. From this meeting. May the God of Israel. May the God of Israel. Keep love banner. Keep love banner. Floating over us. Floating over and us. And smite death. Smite death. Threatening them away. Threatening away. Before us. Before us. And grant too. And grant too. That we may so love him. We may so love him. That we will love. That we will love. And clean. And clean. One to another. One to another. And this we do know. And this we do know. That if we will. And if we will. With all our heart. With all our heart. Soul. Soul. Mind. Mind. And strength. And strength. Love thee, O God of Israel. Love thee, O God of Israel. We shall receive. We shall receive. And possess. And possess. The kingdom of David. The kingdom of David. In this world. In this world. And thou wilt send unto us. And thou wilt send unto us. All the kingdoms of God. All the kingdoms of God. In heaven. In heaven. And if we truly love and thee. If we truly love thee. Thou wilt bless us to be. Thou wilt bless us to be. The true Israel of God. The true Israel of God. And then we shall enter. And then we shall enter. Into thy everlasting kingdom. Into thy everlasting kingdom. Which has no end. Which has no end. This, this and all other blessings. All other blessings. That thou see it we need. Thou see it we need. We ask. We ask. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And uh, the Let's all shake hands, let's get acquainted, let's go outstanding, support the kitchen. Hey, ice cream. You won't be here Friday.